God bless you. Hello out there, YouTubers out there. You prayer warriors of YouTube spiritual cyberspace. I'm in the back of Lisa Brethren headquarters in Pingaville, Illinois today. It's a cool 70 degrees back here in the front. It's 90 degrees. I have me a new video spot to release this video. And tonight, it's going to be prophecy on martial law in St. Louis, Missouri. And I have a two and a half year old earlier prophecy that was fulfilled last week when the armored vehicles come through St. Louis, Missouri, Portona streets uh, for the what happened for getting ready to practice on martial law will be the real thing here real soon. But Thursday, I have an update on the drought conditions in Pinckneyville, Illinois, that last week we was in a severe drought. This week, we're in extreme drought. When one week later, and on Thursday, June the 28th, 2012, it was a temperature was 105 degrees here. And then Friday, June the 29th, 2012 was 107 degrees here. Saturday, June the 3rd, 2012, it was 104 degrees here. And today, uh, Sunday, July the 1st, 2012, it was 102 degrees. And right now, that is four straight days of 100 degree temperature plus. And uh, I got to give praise report that the God of Israel, uh, Seven days ago, I, I told the farmers, thank you for the people, the farmers here in Pinkneyville, Illinois, in the state of Illinois, all around the world, praying for rain. And God did a supernatural miracle day. The number seven is complete, whole, and perfect. We had a shards of blessing today. I'm going to tell you the story. I was laying down and taking a Baptist nap, and I heard my beautiful, beloved wife, Prophetess Betty Kelly, the Lord that pressed her to start singing uh, the song Rain Down, Bring the Rain Down and she had her guitar and for uh, 44 minutes she was praising God then she said I hear thunder and anyway she's a Mac, Mac Indian from Maine and uh, anyway it rained, showers of blessing she's my barn again, Native American my uh, French girl a beautiful blue eyed Indian and barn again and God bless us. Just not to get the grass wet here in Pinckneyville, Illinois. And for 44 minutes with a light rain, it rained in Pinckneyville, Illinois. And uh, anyway, here's the, the key here. God's in numbers here. Obama's the 44th President of the United States. And this Thursday when Obamacare was passed, that I believe that this is unconstitutional, that God is putting judgment on the land as a curse. In Southern Illinois, over the United States of America, there's going to be a tax on everybody. The poor people's going to suffer on this. And I want to read a passage in the Holy Bible here. In First Kings, in uh, chapter 18, verse 41. For all your prayer words, this is why I thank you. This was the God of Israel did with Elijah and what he did at Ping of Illinois seven days ago. He brought the shards of blessing today. We brought the rain down. Betty was praising God and you farmers to help me pray and everybody I give God the glory for your obedience. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of the abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees, and said to the servant, Go up now, look toward the sea and he went up and looked and said there is nothing and he said go again seven times that's God's perfect complete whole number and it came to pass at the seventh time he said behold there arise a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand and said go up say unto Ahab prepare thy chariot and get thee down that the rain stop thee not and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great Rain and there was a and uh, Ahab rose and went to Jezreel, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel, and made a God has blessed upon his word. The shards of blessing, and I'm going to tell you what, Pinckneyville, Illinois, 
uh, in the state of Illinois, the records come out in April, May, and June. It broke a 1914 record in the state of Illinois. It's the driest it's been in the history of the state of Illinois. That's why we in an extreme drought right now. But uh, pray for the next 30 to 60 days. You know, we got a little rain today. We thank you, Jesus, but it's a little too much and a little late. The corn crop is 100% wiped out. I don't think since the 1936 Dust Bowl, the corn crop has been 100% wiped out. I pray for the farmers don't have crop insurance. They might have put the farm on the block or lose the farms. But thank God for the farmers that had the crop insurance on their damages there. And we got to pray for the next two weeks. If we don't get the rain, then it's going to wipe out the soybean crop. But here's a prophecy that God gave me on January the 17th, 2010. This prophecy is two years old. Right here it is. And this prophecy is the beginning of what we see in the armor vehicles last week in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going to read it now. This is the beginning. God showed me on this thing here. And uh, I'll tell you what's happening too. This going to be prophecy on March alone in St. Louis, Missouri. But Governor Quincy shut down the TAM Supermax prison in Times, Illinois. It would house 700 prisoners, the worst Supermax prison in Illinois, the worst criminals here. And now they transferred him. And he's trying to sell the TAM prison to the federal government. I believe Homeland Security will buy it. And I believe that will be a, the newest FEMA camp in Southern Illinois for 700 people when they start rounding them out. So I'm going to read this prophecy for the glory be to God. Martial law in the USA soon. The apocalypse for the Christians in the USA is here. Jesus showed me tanks. That's armored vehicles there in St. Louis, Missouri, St. Charles, Missouri, attacking Christians in martial law in the USA soon. Betty and I walking over a bridge of troubled waters with lots of people trapped by the tanks, the armored vehicles there. President Obama, the Antichrist, will start the market to be soon. Obama's nation of desolation will hunt down Christians soon. Keep your eyes on the Hollywood movie for the preview of coming attractions. There have been three apocalypse movies in the last three months. You won't have to buy a ticket in a dark theater to see action on the screen. There will be live action in the streets of USA with Christians under martial law. <clears throat> the New World Order movie Mongols always screen test their agenda on a silver screen. The godly world Christians will have a final battle with the worldly Hollywood people. Tinsel Town will see the big picture here. There's no business like Jesus' business in the last days. Lights, camera, and action. Bible prophecy is an adventure in your town. When martial law takes effect, I pray for President Obama, Homeland Security, FBI, CIA, and the U.S. Armed Forces in Jesus' name. This prophetic word, this prophecy, a prophecy of martial law in St. Louis, Missouri, was on January the 17th, 2010. This is two and a half years old. And right now, in the next six months, I believe President Obama... Uh, seeing how the media will react to you, how the people will react. It's a practice run, but next time I think they'll get the people around them out to put them in the FEMA camps there in St. Louis, Missouri. And, and it could be six months, maybe at the year at, at the most. And, and now they got empty Supermax uh, prison in Times, Illinois. They could take 700 of the, these are going to be Christians. Don't take the market of the beast. They're ready to round them up in the FEMA camps. We're seeing Bible prophecy being fulfilled. So anyway, that's what's on my heart today. And keep your eyes open for the glory be to God. Jesus loves you. I'm going to say this prayer right now for you. That if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, turn your life over to Jesus Christ for it's too late. Today's the day of salvation. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow might not come. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, martial law is coming on the scene. Six months to one year. There's not much time left. And it depends... I believe President Obama, who is Antichrist, will win the election, and it will be close. Maybe after second term, he could start this after the November 6th election, 2012. But he could start this in December, or even maybe a second term in January. But I believe, like this prophecy of martial law in St. Louis, uh, Missouri, will happen from.
6 to 12 months. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. Well, the time's easy now. The times ain't hard. There'll be a time that if you don't take the mark of the beast, they will chop your head off. They will torture you. They will kill you. They will throw you in the female presidents over the United States. And I believe one of them's going to be the Tam Supermax president in Tams, Illinois, in Southern Illinois. And say this prayer. I'm not trying to scare you. I do it with love and condemnation. I don't do it. I do it in love, not condemnation or guilt. So this is your time. This is your hour. That you've seen this video on YouTube for the glory be the God. I think YouTube put it on that there'll come a day in the near future that we'll lose maybe censorship on YouTube all over the world. Maybe we won't be able to upload Christian videos and warning people there. And, you know, on the internet, newspapers, radio, TV, and that was uh, on that prophecy there on uh, January the 17th, uh, 2010. I faxed that to 2,240 newspapers. That's right there when you pack it, see the front page on the newspapers, letter to editor two, it's in them newspapers. 240 newspapers in, the, in the Illinois and some international newspapers like Wall Street Journal and U.S. Today and other ones there and Time Magazine, Newsweek, and U.S. World Report. It's been uh, doctified because two and a half years ago, it's a real deal here. And this is God's prophetic Bible prophecy. But turn your life over to Jesus. This is your hour. This is your time. You know, it's going to be a long, hot summer. And, you know, in southern Illinois, over some, maybe deep south, midwest, the east, the west. And the fires we're seeing now in Colorado Springs, that's another judgment for God. I believe in, in Illinois, don't get some more rain in southern Illinois here. In the next 30, 60 days, we can see our Shawnee. Uh, national force go up in flames like that terrible tragedy in Colorado Springs. But here's your opportunity. I want you to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ can forgive you for your sin and save your soul and death, burial, and resurrection. Say these words with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent from a wicked way. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. My name's written in the book. All right, I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus. Your greatest decision. You just accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Uh, right, George and Betty Kelly on the YouTube channel. We have our address there at 407 South Douglas, Pinkneyville, Illinois, 62274. You'll see a uh, lease of the brother. Uh, the A symbol, yahoo.com. We have there on our profile on our YouTube page. You'll see it there. Tell us if you accept to Jesus Christ with your personal Savior. Give a public confession. We love you today. Pray for George and Betty Kelly here in Pinkneyville, Illinois at the least of Brother Main Street. We'll be praying for you. Your greatest days ahead for the glory be to God. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East. We we love you. Sign out over and out. 10 4 uh, Yahoo Amen. Shalom. Sayonara. We'll see you till the next video. Glory be to God. Thank you for watching the video. And please subscribe to George and Betty Kelly's channel. We like to have you. We love you. And Jesus loves you most important. Have a good day. God bless you all.